Hello friends, this video on Amines part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. We can write different isomeric amines for C4H11N. C4H11N we have. So let's try to find the simpler one. So straight ones if I have 4 carbon, if I write in this fashion 1, 2, 3, 4 carbon and I put N here, let's suppose. So I have to put hydrogen here, 2 hydrogen here, correct. So how many hydrogens I have? 11, 2 is gone, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So with this, I can write one structure. So this is my one structure, all straight. That means with this structure, it is pretty clear that there is no double bond here, correct? The next structure I can draw is, what I can do is, I can, instead of mean at this position, I can have at this position of this carbon, correct? So instead of having, I mean at this position, I can have at this position. So let me draw that, I'll, I'll not draw uh, hydrogen. This is one structure, right? Where I have one degree. Also, one other possibilities I have is the NH2 group which I have attached here, right? Let since there are four, I can do something like this. Correct? One possibility. Let me draw this. One more possibility is I can draw something like this. Correct. So these are all my one degree carbon actually. One degree. If you see my all nitrogen has two hydrogen. Correct. So these are my straight four carbon. Then I had this uh, NH2 attached in this carbon, and then I have this this kind of. 4 carbon and I have this kind of 4 carbon, right? So 4, 1 degree. These are all my 4, 1 degree. Correct? And let's name this actually first. Then I'll uh, go into 2 degree and 3 degree uh, molecular formula. So this guy, let me change the color. So the first will be what? Straight chain with a uh, ammonia. I am writing IUPAC name, meth it pro but but Anamine, butane, amine. Correct. So in this case, will be numbering will be in this fashion: one, two, three, four. So for this compound, the name will be what? Meth ethrobut. All single bond in at two I have amines, two amine. Simply for this, it will be one, two, three. So at two I have methyl group attached here. 2 methyl with it probe all single bond in at 1 I have amine so I can write 1 amine or I can just write amine here. Similarly in this case the longest chain is this so it will be 1, 2, 3 please don't take this as the longest chain this is the longest chain 3 carbon at 2 I have methyl so 2 methyl with it probe, the longest chain has probe, all single bond in at 2 have amine, 2 amine. Correct. Let's draw 2 degree now. So I have a nitrogen here, so instead of one, 1 carbon here and 1 hydrogen here, so here I can have 3 carbons, right? So 3 carbons I can have only in the straight chains. I, can, I can't manipulate with this. So it is 1 and 3. Another option is I can have 2 and 2 carbon both side. Correct. This 3 I can actually manipulate a little bit. Let me try this. So instead of this, I can have something like this. Yeah. Correct. So I have 3 carbon here, 3 carbon here also in different style. Correct. So 1 and 3 I have one, uh, broken. 2 and 4 I have 2 and 2 also I broke. These are my 2 degree and let me see with 3 degree. This is all my 2 degree, this is all my 1 degree. 
For three degree, what will happen is I have one carbon here, one carbon here, and two carbons here actually. Correct? Because there are total four carbons. There's only possibility because I can't manipulate with two carbons. If there is three carbon, I can have two possibilities. You see, one style is this, one style is this. If I have four carbon, there were so many possibilities. One possibility was straight, one was this, one was this, one was this. Correct? But with only two carbons, I can have only one possibility. With three carbons, I had two possibilities. With four carbons, I had four possibilities. So these are the structures I have. Let me name these. So for this compound, if you see, there is a there is a substituent group actually. The membrane will be one, two, three in this fashion. So it will be N-methyl because there is a methyl group attached to nitrogen. So it is N-methyl. And then there are three carbons with it pro all single bond in at first carbon I have this NH2 group attached so I can have propane one amine or I can just have amine here similarly in this this is my parent carbon chain let's suppose this is one this is two this is my substituent group here so at, I'll use anethyl the substituent group is this and then I met it because there are two carbons in the main chain all single bond in and then amine. Let's see this. So in this, this is my parent chain. This is my one, two, and three. Why is my parent chain? Because it has three carbon. This is my substituent group. So my substituent group is N methyl here. And then I have at meth it probe is a my longest chain probe or single bond in. At two, I have amine group attached. So two amine. Similarly, in this. This is my longest chain actually two carbon, carbon one, carbon two, and there are two substituent group attached here. So it is N N dimethyl with it. The longest chain has two. So it all single bond ethane amine. So now let me number them actually A B C D like that. So let right, this be A, this be B, this be C, this be B, right? This be E, this be F, this be G, and this be H. So the question was we have to draw the structures of the isomeric isomers and we have to tell them what is the relation. Correct? So let's see the relation here. So if you see between A and B, what is the relation? It is the position because this NS2 group was attached in the last. Because if you see the chain is same, the chain is same, only the position varies, right? So A and B is what? Position isomers, correct? Similarly, A and C, can we see something? They are chain isomers actually, because this is a straight, this is a branch, correct? So A and C is my chain isomers. In fact, if you see A, C, and B, all are chain isomers. This is straight, this is the branch, and this is also a branch, right? All attached to NH2 group. So I can say that A, C, and D are chain isomers. A, C, D, if you see, are chain isomers. Correct? Now let's see more. Then we have E, F, there is no relation, there is no isomers actually here. There is one, there is metamers actually. But let's see E and G. E and G, if you see, this part is same, right? This part, if you see, there's a hydrogen here. This part is same, only this part is different. This is a straight chain, this is a branch chain. So if you see, E and G are also chain isomers. Correct. Now we have <coughs> some meta isomers also. So meta isomers are of this form actually. If you see the different alkyl groups are attached to same functional groups. For example, I have this and then I have this. Correct. So if you see the oxygen here is methyl and propyl and here is two ethyl. 
this oxygen group has moved. These kind of isomers are called meta isomers, where different other chi groups are attached to same function groups. Here also, if you see, if you uh, see this guy, E and F and G, right? They are meta isomers because if you see this nitrogen. Here you have one carbon, three carbon. Here you have two carbon, two carbon, right? Something like this. Here you have one carbon and you have three carbon in a different fa fashion. So E, F, G, if you see, will be my meta, meta mars. Right? This phenomenon is called metamarism. Do you have this kind of thing here? No, we don't have because NS2 group is intact here. Correct? So in these, these, uh, once we have position and chain isomers. Here we have chain isomers and metamers both. Right? We have chain isomers and metamers both. Here we don't have any kind of isomers because here we have only one picture, right? In this format. So we have these many isomers in this particular amine with the molecular formula C4H11N. So we have seen that we have a four and four H total isomer to a total structures of this particular molecular formula C4H11N which are means. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.